Hello everybody and this is Chaos with KLC Sports Productions bringing you another Bronze to Masters League series game. So we're looking at another PvP. Basically what, what I was trying to do with this game is I was trying to kind of incorporate the last opponent's build. Uh, basically it was like a gateway, a cybernetics core into a twilight council, getting a forge up to be real defensive and go for DTs real quick. So, now, instead of go for the Forge super quick, I choose to hold off on getting that until I know that my opponent is going DTs. Basically, what this allows me to do is, if he's not going DTs, and I don't necessarily need the, the Forge right away, I can tech up into something else, like into uh, a robotics facility, to do either DT drops or get up Immortals and Colossus for late game type stuff. And then obviously I can warp in more Dark Templars. If he does go Robo and has detection, I can get Archons and things from things like that. So, anyways, let's see. This is his base. We want to go to my base for now. So, I know... In probably my previous, a lot of my previous games, I've been doing a pylon scout as opposed to a gateway scout, and my take on it is, if you're looking to be a little bit more economical, and obviously if he is going for a, fo uh, a forge, cannon rush kind of deal, you'll still scout it, but you have to react a little bit faster. I still find that going the after the gateway, it actually works out a lot better for the build, because you have that... You know, it, usually it's about an extra minute worth of mining, so it's about 40 minerals. And then it your assimilator goes down, and you can obviously continue getting probes up, you know, constantly. And not have to, like, be off by, like, a second or two. So, doing the typical build. This is actually a fairly quick game, so I'm going to go ahead and get through it. Uh, I go in with my scout, and I see kind of the typical stuff. I see he's got two early gas, so he could obviously be going for Stargate or teching up fairly fast. Um, I send my pro back to my base, but then I immediately turn around and I look like I'm going to want to scout with that later. So, Cybernetics Core gets up, 100 minerals comes, and bam. Where is it? Uh, there. Uh, Twilight Council. And then I also build a forward pylon with this because in my previous games I've been really bad about getting up forward pylons and you know making sure I can warp in really close. So he comes in and actually scouts the Twilight Council. So I'm a little bit worried as you know at the beginning, but I still choose to go ahead and go with it. It's been really nice uh, since the Dark Shrine is actually cheaper than it was in Wings of Liberty, and Wings of Liberty was like 250 gas, so it's super expensive on gas. And basically, you just you couldn't build stalkers or hardly any units, so it was kind of a pain. Let's see. Oh, I gotta go back. Oh, I missed it. I missed like the 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 failed scout. Okay, probe is going in. Probe's on a mission. Everything's good. And he comes in. He comes in. Oh, it dies. Oh. Uh, a little bit unfortunate. But if you look at my vision, I actually didn't scout it. But since he pulled probes and was desperate for me not to scout, I kind of was tipped off that, you know, he's probably doing DTs. So I immediately throw down the forge and immediately throw a cannon in my mineral line. Because obviously, I want to be as effective as I can be with this. But if he goes DTs as well and gets in before I have any detection, I lose... Um, and wow, that was vent, and I probably need to turn that off. So I get in, and he immediately leaves. So basically what this boils down to is scouting, especially in PvP, because I didn't see any, I didn't see any aggression, for, you know, up front, so I know he's not foregating. He hasn't put down a robotics facility when I came in and scout. I haven't seen any real tech, and, and he was desperately trying to keep my my probe from getting in and scouting. So that means, I mean, he doesn't have any units. He, he only had a zealot. So he's got to be doing some type of DT drop play something or other. So having that read on, on this game is kind of what led me to win. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, 
I really don't have much to say if you've watched the previous video. So I will say this. If you like this, feel free to like. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you liked this video and feel free to subscribe if you want to see more of this type of content. Also, feel free to check out my stream or any of the streams from Protoss players that I have in the descriptions. A lot of them are awesome as far as giving really good commentary while they play. They do a lot of really good analysis as to how the upper, you know, Masters and Grandmasters League play. And it's just a really good idea to get ideas for different builds and things like that. Also, let's see, what was the other thing? That's good. Oh, if you have replays, feel free to send them to the email in the in the description. I will cast those replays, give you some tips, let you know how you're doing. Um, and if you have any, like, small tidbits of, hey, I want you to look at this part of my build, or hey, I want you to look at uh, this engagement, feel free to leave those in the description. There's kind of some details in the description as far as what the email should say. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.